We went down to Costa Rica for uh, a number of our 40th birthdays. Every night on the bow of the ship, we started drinking bourbon. That ship's rocking back and forth, and it's rocking that bourbon back and forth in the glass. And that's when I thought, if this is happening in the bottle, it certainly would happen in a barrel. And if it would happen in a barrel, it's going to force maturation. So I suggested, why don't we put some barrels on the ship? So you're crossing the equator. You're getting all types of different weather fluctuations, temperature changes. And when you take the barrels out of the control by changing the environment and the agitation of the maturation, you completely change the result and what you're going to get out of it. After three and a half years, we headed down to Key West to taste the barrels. I've never had it before. I've got three journalists with me. I'm hoping it's good, but I don't know. I thought Trey was absolutely crazy for doing Ocean at first. They sent me a, a little sample, and I think I still have it. I don't know where it is, but they sent it to me, and it was like, it was like damn near black. And I think I called Trey up, and I was like, did you guys leave a nail in this whiskey or something? So we tap in, and it comes out black, and it comes out thick. And I'm thinking, oh no, oh no, I've got these guys down here. But then we tasted it. And it just covered our tongue and the flavors. It was so viscous and so caramely. It was delicious. And it went down so easy. It was like no bourbon I'd ever had before. It really inspired me to see what else we could do with it. You know, where shall it go from here?